Hello everyone. In this part of nutrition, I am going to discuss about balanced diet and nutritional disorders. Coming to balanced diet, diet which contains all the nutrients that is macronutrients and micronutrients in required quantities and proportions is called as balanced diet. So when such a diet is taken, it promotes growth and maintains the health. In preparation of the balanced diet, it depends upon various factors. Those are kinds of foods purchased or foods that are available in that area, economic capacity of the person, religion, customs, tastes and habits of the people. So, considering all these factors, we have to plan balanced diet for a person. For example, when preparing a balanced diet for adult men and women, and we have to consider the physical activity of the person. Based on that, we categorize that physical activity into sedentary, moderate, and heavy. So now, when you are preparing the balanced diet for adult men and women with these three categories, we have to include different nutrients, food items like cereals, pulses leafy vegetables, other vegetables, roots and tubers, milk and milk products, oil and fat, sugar. So their requirement varies from the person who is in sedentary lifestyle to moderate to heavy work. For example, if you see cereals, 460 grams of cereals is required per day for an adult man who is leading a sedentary lifestyle. Whereas, adult man who is leading heavy work, who, is, who comes under heavy work category, he needs 670 grams of cereals per day. So, according to the activity, the amount of cereals requirement varies. Instead of that, for example, instead of 460 grams of cereals per day, if you give the person who is on sedentary work, 670 grams of cereals per day same as that of heavy worker so as it is more than his calorie requirement the excess amount of calories will be deposited in the form of fat it leads to obesity because he cannot utilize the excess amount of calories so that is the significance of one of the significance of balanced diets during pregnancy and lactation additional amount of food is required, they require extra amount of calories supplied by the macronutrients and also they require the micronutrients. So both micronutrients and micronutrients requirement is increased in case of pregnancy and lactation. When a person is not taking balanced diet, it leads to nutritional disorders. So those nutritional disorders are two types undernutrition also called as malnutrition and the second one is overnutrition so the undernutrition is also called as protein energy malnutrition or protein calorie malnutrition there are two types of protein energy malnutrition so those are kwashiorkar and marasmus whereas overnutrition is seen in the form of obesity. Coming to the first nutritional disorder marasmus, it is because of both deficiency of proteins and energy. But the primary deficiency is energy and the secondary deficiency is protein. This is seen in children below one year age and marasmus occurs because of early weaning where instead of best milk they were fed with diet which contains watery gruels. Coming to the main features of the marasmus like growth, retardation, anemia, fat and muscle wasting is seen and the persons look emaciated, they look very thin and weak. In addition to that uh, you can see due to starvation adaptations, serum protein and electrolyte concentrations that remain within the normal range and edema is not seen in marasmus. 
coming to next malnutrition disease that is kwashior kar here it is beca primarily because of the protein deficiency and this is called as weaning disease because this is seen after weeks or months of weaning where instead of the high quality breast milk which contains proteins now the child is fed with a protein which have low quality now coming to main features of kwashior kar anorexia lack of uh, appetite severe edema moon face deep pigmented hair and skin fatty liver distended abdomen these are the main symptoms of kwashiorkor the reason for edema is due to deficiency of albumin here the albumin levels will be less than 2 grams per deciliter fatty liver is because of deficiency of the essential amino acids which are required for the synthesis of lipoproteins which carry or which transport the triglycerides a fat from the liver to the extra fat tissues and distended abdomen is because of enlarged liver these are the major differences between kwashior kar and marasmus so age of onset is in case of kwashior kar it is 1 to 5 years whereas marasmus is seen in infants below 1 year edema is present only in kwashior kar but it is absent in the marasmus album level is decreased in kwashior kar it is less than 2 grams per deciliter whereas in marasmus it is slightly decreased or normal now coming to the overnutrition when a person takes more amount of calories than the required those calories will be accumulated in the form of fat that results in the obesity so the problem of obesity is it is due to imbalance of energy intake related to energy expenditure to find out whether the person is obese or not or to classify the obesity you can use a formula where body weight in kg is divided by height in meter square so this bmi can be used to classify the obesity into three grades grade 1 grade 2 and grade 3 and normal persons they have a bmi in the range of 20 to 25 when it is above 25 and up to 30 that is 25 to 30 it is obesity grade 1 30 to 35 obesity grade 2 and when it is more than 35 it is classified as grade 3 or gross obesity the causes of obesity can be classified into metabolic hormonal and genetic coming to metabolic cause here it is due to mainly accumulation of triglycerides or triglycerides simply excess fats and the other reason is deficiency of the enzyme atph because of which it affects the normal energy metabolism and leads to more weight gain second reason for the obesity endocrine disorders like hypothyroidism hypogonadism hypopituitarism and cushing syndrome coming to third reason genetic factor it is mainly due to mutation in the gene which codes for the protein leptin so the leptin gene is called as ob gene any mutation to this gene will affect the synthesis of leptin which maintains the appetite so thereby it leads to increased intake of food which results in obesity obesity is a health risk factor because the persons who are obese they have risk of hypertension coronary heart diseases insulin resistance atherosclerosis cancer infertility work disability and sleep apnea 